We're very excited. Uh, today we have the opportunity to welcome Ian Duncan Smith uh, to visit the Crawley facility. Uh, he's being accompanied by Henry Smith, our local Crawley MP. And we're going to take the opportunity to show him the production facility, uh, introduce him to some of the people that work here, uh, talk more about our apprenticeship programmes. Uh, but moreover, it's a real opportunity to show the technology uh, that's developed here in Electa and how it's used for the treatment in cancer. Well, we've got the uh, Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, Ian Duncan Smith, who is visiting Elector today. Uh, and it's great to have him down here because I'm very proud of the fact that a world class company like Elector is manufacturing um, the state of the art. Uh, medical uh, equipment that is treating cancer patients in new and innovative ways and successful ways and it's happening right here in Crawley. We're really pleased and honoured to have you here. Uh, hopefully you get a very fruitful afternoon. We, we, uh, we will try to show you the best we can of cancer care and what we do in the UK. But also so it's a real opportunity today uh, to show Ian and Henry around the facilities that we have here but also to impress on them the importance of Electa as an international player in the oncology space and share with them our plans for the future um, in terms of employment into the area based on these innovations. And this, this is some of the technology on this table that goes into making this working. This is a cool thing. Okay, so what you've got is this ridge here. And that's only uh, because it's only got that. Well, I think Electa combines both technical skill, research and development, and the construction of first class medical equipment and so it is combining a number of skills together uh, and because they're exporting the majority of their products uh, around the world obviously that's great for the UK economy as well so it's good for local training, good for research and development, good for the advancement of technology locally but good for the UK economy because of the way that this first class equipment is being exported around the world. Uh, and we've had the opportunity to take him around uh, a number of elements of the business here in Crawley and show him where we have in research and development, the, the manufacturing facility that we've had here on site for over 50 years now, manufacturing linear accelerators, and also to give him a quick tour of where we are now, the uh, electric demonstration centre, and show him actually kind of how some of our products and solutions are used. This is the demonstration room that we have here and this is where we tend to bring um, customers that want to come and see some of the electric products and solutions that we have. So they will come here from all over the world. We have customers ranging from you know, locally here in the UK, throughout Europe, through South America, um, all the way through to kind of Australasia, India and, and the Far East as well. So it really is kind of that global centre for people wanting to come and see Electa's oncology portfolio here. And your name is? Andrew. Okay. And what do you do here? I see you screwing this in at the moment. Yes. Are you just yes. kind of finishing off the work? We are the fastest growing oncology provider in the world, um, second only to one other manufacturer. Ship some of these to site now and they've treated their first patients. Um, and the fact that we also employ a lot of apprentices and young people from around the area. And in fact, with our latest innovation, Agility, uh, which is a new beam shaping device for radiation therapy, um, we impressed on him that it was a real opportunity to create something like 100 new jobs over the coming few years. Normally, when people ask me, what is so great to work for an Electa? I said, if you have a family and you have a Christmas dinner and you sit around with the family, it's so much easier to actually talk about saving lives. When it comes to healthcare and cancer, and unfortunately so many people have cancer and, and a third uh, of the population will know somebody with cancer. So 
I, I just think it's fantastic to be part of something that is so good. If you look at all the technology we're doing, if you look at all the clinical advancements we're doing, how people build something together across the globe, in, in more than 30 sites across the globe, we come together and we create solutions that, that, save, that save lives. That is what, what sort of uh, Electa is for me. It's a global footprint, high level of technology, and you do things together. It's just amazing. And so from here, you're pretty much exporting around the world. Right? The whole world. Yeah, yeah. When Ian Duncan Smith leaves today, I'd like him to leave with the impression of pride. Pride in an English company who's done so much to further cancer care across the globe, but also an awareness. So when we're speaking in Parliament and when there are important decisions being made, there's due consideration given to English-based companies who play in the international field and are highly effective and highly profitable for this country.